Valor Foundation was established by our beloved First Lady, Christine Cavill, and promotes awareness for advocacy and foster care, as well as sports tourism and early childhood development. The nonprofit organization is producing the upcoming Tony Award winning Broadway musical, Once on This Island. Now joining me once again to introduce and talk about this very important and very entertaining endeavor are the First Lady, Christine Cavill. Half a day and welcome back. Half a day, Jason. Thank All right, you. and then the man of the hour and someone who's done a lot of work to this <laughs> to this end yeah, and <laughs> obviously very happy it's nearing its end mr ernest de Choco, so. yes very much so hi jason how are you <laughs> okay, so, so it's, it's always a delight to have both of you in studio and everything and the last time we talked we talked about you know uh what the play was what the plot was mm -hmm. who the cast was how it's coming along um and first lady for people who may not be familiar again with the foundation you created what does regalu mean Regalu, Jason, it's a Chamar word meaning gift. Okay. Uh, the foundation was um, established to, um, just as we would, to continue to provide gifts to our families on Guam in terms of um, some of our initiatives, uh, foster care, uh, early childhood development, and sports tourism. So okay. the foundation is uh, eager to set out on this uh, great um, End of the year, uh, our very biggest, our biggest, our largest, our very biggest um, uh, fundraiser for, fundraiser for uh, Regalu. Event. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's talk about that a little bit because there's a gala fundraiser coming up. So uh, when is that? How much are tickets? And what's, what's on the docket for that night? At December 7th, uh, Wednesday, is the gala show at the FD Phoenix Center. And we'll be followed by uh, two matinee or is it a evening, matinee? evening mm -hmm. shows mm -hmm. on Friday and Saturday. We have some... Uh, some students also coming in on Friday for some field trips uh, right. to, for these events. Okay, outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, we have matinees, two matinees on Friday, Friday morning uh, at 8.50 and at 12.05. So it's first comes, first serve. And uh, you can uh, reach us at uh, Once on This Island Guam 2011 on Facebook. Mm -hmm. If you put your request there, I will forward it to the First Lady's uh, a personal assistant and she will uh, handle the reservations for that as if you're not doing enough things with the play. I know <laughs> I know it's a million and one for those people who don't know how plays are done it's a million and one things it's really 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 difficult to do <laughs> okay and it's so often said Ernest that you know all the world's a stage and you know mm -hmm. you have made your mark on our island community by you know introducing people to a love of theater and of the craft but as someone who's overseeing um, the entire creative process of the play. How is it coming along? How's the cast doing? The set, you know, and what can people expect to see when they attend? Well, uh, the the cast is doing extremely well. Um, and I'll sh say my, my apology to them now because I've been very, very strict with them. <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, a tight ship. Right? I have very, very, very tight ship. Uh, but uh, it's moving along very, very quickly. And um, in theater, we always say, uh, you're never on time, you're always a week late, no matter even if you think you're on time. Mm -hmm. And every show is like that, from here to Broadway to wherever in Europe, um, it's always like that. You're always late. So, uh, But we're moving along very quickly now. The cast is so amazing. They are the most, uh, the, the quickest to retain information. I've never worked with a cast like that before. Everyone's so, so fast at retaining information. Why would you say that is? Uh, well, there's, uh, maybe they're just scared. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they, uh, there's a lot of professionals on the cast. So we have Crystal Paco from KOM, um, right. Kai the Pinai from uh, Sorensen Pacific, um, Sean Wegner, Nina Terlahi, Christine Palma, Patrick Riggs, who's also a director. Uh, he used to direct a lot of the Santa Barbara shows. So there's a whole bunch of professional people who are on the cast that are really in it to win it. And, mm -hmm. and the students that are part of it, the, uh, the theater majors and things like that, they look up to the professionals as, as examples. And I guess they just follow suit. So, and they're scared too, so. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about the music, because again, one of the telling uh, the telling points and the talking points, I should say, is ironically the song and, you mm -hmm. know, the music and the lyrics and everything like that. So how does the music grab people when they sit, you know, in the theater and well, what, what emotions does it evoke? Oh, gosh. Um, every single emotion that you can possibly imagine is there in the music. This music is so unique. I've never, I've done so many musicals, as you know, Jason, mm -hmm. you hear me singing in my apartment all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and the music here is extremely, extremely unique. It's really, really different. It's Caribbean, French, uh, uh, African American, all jumbled in together, and, and it creates this unique uh, form of, of expression that can only be described as joy and the deepest amount of pain 
all at the same time. It makes you really want to move in your chair. I, I, you've seen the, yes. the rehearsals. Yeah. And First Lady was there uh, at one of the rehearsals, and she just wanted to come up and sing. In fact, she wants a copy of the music so she can sing along inside the audience. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Well, you do have a very beautiful singing voice. Yes, yeah, she does. As I've, as I've heard. Thank you. I've, I've been out of rehearsal and off the stage, but uh, if push to, comes to shove, I might uh, be up there and yes. share some gifts of music, too. Yep. Okay, well, that's, that's a very nice segue, because let's get the final push. And once again, uh, how can people buy tickets, and when are the show times? Because I'm sure there's going to be a line all the way around the theater. Right. Um, the gala show, again, is on December 7th. It's at the Phoenix Center. Um, they can purchase tickets at uh, Best Seller. Mm -hmm. bookstore and the evening shows are uh, Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. curtain so 7 30 p.m. seating please get there early I know Guam uh, audiences sometimes we like to get there at the right time <laughs> but the right time is 7 30 not 8 <laughs> <laughs> okay so and bestseller bookstore it's $20 per uh, general admission and $10 for students Okay. Any students. All right. Well, it's been a, once again a delight having both of you in studio. Best of luck with the production. We'll be all over that. We can't wait to see it. Thank you. All right. Happy Thank holidays. You. Happy holidays. All right.